Sunken fiberglass boats contribute to pollution on the Hudson River, and tonight News 12's Nadia Galindo shows us how a local business is helping to clean up this waterway one boat at a time. One hand for the boat, one hand for yourself. We boarded a boat in Haverstraw and headed out onto the Hudson River. This river is like very alive, like very vital. Zdenek Ullman, who goes by Z, spends a lot of time out here running his company Marine Diving Services. Hudson River, it's, I saw the book and it's among the 10 most beautiful rivers in the world. But that beauty requires upkeep of what's below the surface. And that is what we are looking for. We got the first images over here. C4. Z uses a side spin and downspin sonar to identify sunken boats along the river's floor. And that's how we see the uh, boat wreck. He gets paid to find and retrieve these vessels. Sunken boats today, I believe it's a huge problem. They're all over the place. Z says during his career that spans more than a decade, he's pulled nearly 500 vessels from waterways across the country. He shared countless photos of the vessels he's retrieved and says the issue is mostly man-made because some boat owners can't afford the fees, maintenance, and upkeep of their vessels. They tow the boat out, they take the valuable, and they sink it. The sunken fiberglass boats are bad for the ecosystem. They leak contaminants, become navigational hazards, and break down to produce microplastics and debris. Z says there is a lack of accountability for boat owners that may require legislative changes. Those boats, they should be insured, registered. Every two years, they should be checked up on a physical state of the boat where it is. A step, he says, will help preserve the beauty of our waterways. On the Hudson River near Haverstraw, Nadia Galindo, News 12.